our primary students are digital natives, right? So why haven't I mentioned any digital tools yet? Well, I wanted to give you the essentials of inquiry-based learning first. The essence, if you like. But of course, while physical objects for the classroom like flip charts, jars and boxes can be engaging and practical, there are also plenty of digital tools we can use for similar things. Padlet might be one of the older tools, but it's one I love. Keep watching to find out how to use Padlet to set up your inquiry. Hi, my name's Michelle and on this channel I share tips and activities to help you make your classroom a more learner-centered space. Padlet is basically a virtual version of an inquiry wall. An inquiry wall is a place where you and your students add information at each stage of the inquiry, starting with their questions. Padlet is a digital wall which can be organised in different ways. There are different layouts and each one can be useful for different uses. I personally like to use the shelf layout as that allows you to organise the posts into columns. By the way, you can find tutorials for setting up and using Padlet in the description below. So let's look at this example that I've created to use with one of my Inspiring Inquiries resource packs. You can see that I've created three columns. I know, I think, and I wonder. First, we look at the essential question together. What's the best planet to live on? In the first column, I ask my students to add posts sharing what they already know about the planets in our solar system. If they have ideas they're not sure about, they can add these to the I think column. As you know by now, an inquiry is all about questions. If you haven't yet watched the other videos in this playlist about questions and working with them, go and watch those videos now. In this inquiry, I might give students some sub-questions to research about a planet of their choice. These questions might be things like, how far is it from Earth? How long does it take to get there? And can we grow food there? And how? We will add these questions to the I wonder column and then I ask students to add any more questions that they have. As they start the research stage, I'll give them opportunities to start adding anything they discover in a new column called I Learn. It's basically a digital version of a KWL chart. The great thing about using a digital tool like Padlet is that students can also add to it outside of class. If they come up with a new question or idea at home, they can add it to the board. With older students, you might want to set up a different Padlet board for each group. They can use it to document their learning during the entire inquiry. They can attach images, documents, links, audio files. They can embed YouTube videos and they can even draw pictures. So you can see there are lots of possible ways in which students can demonstrate their learning. So why not set up a Padlet board for your next inquiry topic? You can find the resource pack from this video in the description below. It's on the topic of space and you'll find lots of ideas on how to extend the inquiry into a longer project. It's such a fun topic. Thank you for watching and happy inquiring. <laughs>